Oke, okay, uh, kita akan mulai ya. Uh, selamat datang di JLC Webinar. Hari ini kita akan bahas topik ya yang banyak orang uh, request ya. Tetapi orang ini banyak yang belum datang. It's okay. So today we'll be talking about the uh, microtic hotspot. That's the topic that uh, many people is are asking. So my name is Ahmad Mardiansyah and I'm from JLC Networks uh, Indonesia. Uh, a little bit introduction about uh, uh, about the agenda today. Uh, we'll be talking about introduction, about the topics, about the JLC. Um, after that, we talk about the microtech hotspot, uh, do some demos and QA if time permits. Okay, so about the GLC itself, uh, so we are a GLC, Garda Lintas Cakrawala, we are an Indonesian company, located in Bandung, uh, areas, uh, IT consulting and then training. Uh, we also do uh, Microtech, Ubiquity and Red Hat, so we are not just only focus on Microtech, actually for the Linux itself, it's not only Red Hat, we do also other distributions like Debian and uh, Ubuntu or uh, CentOS yeah, because Red Hat is, uh, you know, a little bit expensive. Uh, okay, um, about the GLC webinar itself, we started the webinar first time in uh, January 1st, 2010, at that time we talked about the uh, Solaris operating system. Uh, it just introduction to the operating system itself, where we discuss about the features and then the benefits and then uh, any other stuff. Uh, the webinar is a uh, sharing event for us, so we would like to share what we know to other people. And then uh, we also discuss various topics like uh, Linux, networking, wireless, database, programming, etc. etc. A uh, few years back, a uh, few months, uh, yeah, that, that depends on the availability of the speaker. Okay, <laughs> at the time I was very busy, so uh, the webinar was uh, not done in a regular way, so but. Uh, since uh, last few months, I think uh, since last year, we already done this every two weeks. Okay, so every two weeks we have a webinar. Uh, irregular schedules is as needed. Uh, you can check the schedules on our website. If you want to do some presentations, you are feel free to go. So just inform us. I want to do some presentations, and then just fine. Uh, my name is Ahmad Bardiansha, uh, based in Bandung. I started Linux since 2000, uh, since uh, 1999, okay, almost 2000. I use Microtech since 2007, Ubiquiti since 2011. Certified trainer for Microtech, Ubiquiti, and Red Hat, a consultant, previously working as sysadmin programmer and lecturer. Uh, that's my website, ahmadjarwan.com. If you have LinkedIn account, we can connect. Okay, about the introduction for the attendees. Uh, previously, we have done this before. Uh, better if we skip it, so that uh, we can just uh, discuss the main topic today. So today, we'll be talking about the Microtech Hotspot. And the first question is, what is Microtech Hotspot Gateway? So actually, it's not only Microtech, but Microtech Hotspot Gateway. So Hotspot is a technique to provide authentication for clients before the client accessing networks. Uh, some features are web-based authentication. So before the client uh, can access the network, okay, clients already attached to the network but cannot go anywhere. Okay, because it's stopped by this hotspot gateway until you do authentication. So when you try to browse something, and then there will be a uh, uh, hotspot page. So as you can see here, and there you have to put username 
and password login and password click ok and then if the username and password are correct and then you are able to connect to the internet as simple as that okay so that was the web based authentication and then uh, the feature is also walled garden system so for example if you want to bypass some websites so uh, other uh, these websites you can connect without um, uh, having authentication okay so yeah uh, walled garden system so you can bypass some website also login page modifications you can uh, so, uh, as defaults so this is the default login page of the microtech and then you can change it okay it's very simple uh, okay as long as you know programming and then you know where to put your images and then attacks and then uh, anything else but it is possible to change the how how uh, the, the login page is is, is appeared Okay, so you can modify. So that's number three: login page modification. Uh, anything else? You can uh, do automatic and transparent change of IP address. So before authentication, you are using IP address A. After authentication, you are using IP address B. Okay, is it possible? Yes. So why why do we need to change our IP address? Because we want to have uh, like a firewall okay so uh, in our firewall if somebody is from this uh, uh, IP address then you cannot go to uh, you cannot uh, browse or you cannot go to this 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 and this okay after authentication you change your IP address and then off you go no worries and then it supports local authentication or remote authentication so uh, authentication means the database that contains username and password so that that the, the the list of username and password you can store in local database it means in the microtech itself or you can use radio servers to store that username and password so there is uh, there are there are many uh, benefits if you use radius for storing username password so first is the centralization so uh, you just only have one radius and then on this radius you can uh, you can uh, what is it uh, uh, in this radius you can uh, uh, you can provide authentication for many hotspots okay so one radius but more than one hotspot gateway so for example i have a case in a campus so they have one radius there and then on each campus they they uh, provide uh, a hotspot authentication and then username password is taken from the radius uh, server and then uh, next features here is number six is support local user out counting or remote uh, router server accounting so uh, this is triple a so triple a means authentication authorization and then accounting author authentication means like username and password authorization means the rights or limits that is attached to the user okay for example maximum download speed okay that's authorization okay uh, I, I, I repeat again so authentication is username and password so like you know it's like authentication you know and then after that the uh, what's after the authentication and then okay you are correct okay now you can log in okay after, uh, and then what and then uh, we will set up your authorization so you can you can access this website but not that website website abc is, is allowed but uh, a website def is not allowed okay uh, uh, during the daytime uh, your maximum uh, download speed is 10 megabit per second but at night after office hour it is 20 megabit per second so that's that's authorization okay after authorization is done and then uh um 
after authorization is done and then we do the accounting so accounting means accounting how many um, you know how many um, bandwidth how many how many how many bits you already downloaded how many bits you already uploaded okay okay I have requests here uh, to speak in Bahasa Indonesia okay I will speak in Bahasa uh, any uh, hotspot gateway punya uh, features ya jadi ada web base ada world garden itu web bypass uh, website kemudian kamu bisa modifikasi login page kamu bisa ganti IP address sebelum dan sesudah authentication ya kemudian uh, kamu bisa buat dia uh, bisa menggunakan uh, database username and password ya, jadi kita punya username and password kan itu uh, dibuat untuk klien jadi setiap klien pasti username and password nah username and password itu bisa di store lokal di microti kamu oke okay? atau bisa disentralisasikan di server radius jadi uh, akan dan itu sangat-sangat dianjurkan ya punya radio server jadi uh, kerja mikrotik nanti akan lebih ringan karena username dan password itu semuanya ada di radio server contoh implementasinya adalah kampus jadi dia hanya punya satu radio server untuk semua semua kampusnya jadi kampusnya ada beberapa ya kampus 1, kampus 2, kampus 3 itu tersebar di beberapa uh, lokasi tetapi mereka ambil username dan password dari server yang sama itu ya Uh, itu enaknya radio server jadi uh, Mikrotik Hotspot Gateway bisa ambil username password dari radius uh, kemudian setelah uh, radius kalau bicara radius berarti kita bicara triple A oke triple A itu apa? authentication, authorization, accounting Auto, account, uh, authentication artinya username password uh, authorization artinya uh, hak yang dia dapat setelah autentikasi, contoh misalkan kamu bisa akses website A tapi tidak boleh akses website B. Kamu kalau siang dapat 10 Mbps, kalau malam 20 Mbps itu contoh autorisasi. Kemudian uh, accounting artinya mencatat uh, apa yang sudah kamu lakukan. Ya biasanya yang dicatat adalah sudah berapa lama kamu online, uh, sudah berapa uh, byte yang sudah kamu download. Ya itu accounting. Nah accountingnya itu bisa lokal atau real. Okay, clear ya. Yeah? So, if you have any questions, and then uh, type in the uh, chat box here. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll be speaking in 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 English and Indonesia because I have requests here also, as well. So, next is about the hotspot implementation. So, hotspot. So, when we turn on hotspot, uh, it has to be run on one single uh, one interface on the router, and then it has to be the interface that is directly connected to the clients so for example we have two routers here okay so on the uh, first examples on top uh, it is a correct example because we set up hotspot interface on the router left router uh, where the interface is connected directly to the client okay and on the uh, second uh, example here so we set up hotspot interface where uh, the authenticate uh, the, where it's located after the uh, routers that is connected to the uh, clients. Yeah, so uh, it uh, uh, doesn't work. Doesn't work like that. Okay, jadi uh, hotspot implementation itu harus kamu pasang di interface yang langsung terhubung dengan client. Contoh seperti yang gambar di atas ya, yang di gambar di bawah itu nggak bisa jalan ya karena apa yang mau di apa mau dimasukin sini passwordnya apa gitu ya nggak bisa oke okay, clear ya nah next is about the hotspot interface ya yeah, how to set up hot, uh, hotspot interface and then here we use reset uh, if you want to use uh, CLI so you just go to IP hotspot setup and then you define the hotspot interface and then uh, define the IP address that is attached on the interface in this case ether3 and then uh, you define so you want to masquerade the network or not okay if not and then uh, there will be no uh, 
a NAT table uh, created for that one. And then we define pool of the networks. So it, in this case, it's 10.5.50.2 and to 10.5.50.254. Okay, and then select certificate if you want to use SSL authentication. Uh, select SMTP server, okay, set up DNS, uh, set up DNS name, so uh, whenever uh, uh, IP address appear, and then, sorry, whenever the um, hotspot page is appear, and then so the DNS name is not the IP address, but uh, depends on the DNS name that you define here, in this case is my hotspot, and then uh, you create the local user, uh, for testing in this case is admin and then the password is secret yeah as simple as that and then you just run the uh, the hotspot okay let's go into the details about the hotspot hotspot itself so if you want to customize hotspot page you can uh, see there will be a hotspot directory here where you can uh, modify how it looks like okay so uh, login HTML is the place where you submit the username and password. You can modify that. A login means a page after user login. Status means page to display connection status. Logout, redirect, error, and then uh, others. If you want to reset, and then IP hotspot reset numbers, and then you define this, uh, the server. Okay, next is. Uh, HS means hotspot server. Yeah, as it were, yeah, hotspot server. So if you check the hotspot server profile, so remember, okay, we have hotspot server profile, HS profile, and then we have hotspot server. Okay, HS. Yeah. So uh, in uh, general, here you define the name, okay, the name of the profiles, and then this profile will be attached to the interface, okay, later on. So we define the profile for that interface. Uh, we define the hotspot addresses, DNS name, uh, SQL directory, okay, red limit, HTTP proxy if needed, and then we define the login, okay. Now this is the thing, yeah. Uh, this is important so because it defines the method how the client is authenticated. So, ini akan the uh, top login ini penting karena dia mendefinisikan bagaimana sebuah client itu diautentikasi menggunakan cookies, menggunakan Mac cookies, HTTP CAP, HTTP PAP, ya, dan seterusnya, dan seterusnya. Uh, di sini kamu bisa lihat, uh, kalau misalnya kamu pakai Mac, ya, jadi nanti dia akan lihat Mac address-nya. Uh, bisa juga pakai password ya uh, jadi ada banyak cara untuk login ya uh, beberapa uh, jadi kalau misalnya kita pakai hotspot hotspot bukan hanya untuk wireless bisa untuk wire jadi pakai yang cable ya jadi some of the hotspot implementations is not only for wireless access but can be uh, implemented on wire as well okay uh, yeah, so you can you can pick the uh, uh, authentication method here. Uh, cookies, SSL certificates, uh, uh, split user domain, and then you can pick here trial. Trial means just for trial. Okay, so you will be given a limited amount of time uh, for uh, just testing the uh, just testing the 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 the, the, the connection okay and after that stop All right so uh, HS profile so still uh, we talk about still talking about the HS profile uh, in this case uh, in the radius tab it means if you activate that uh, use radius means uh, you're querying uh, you're asking username password from the radius okay and then if you tick accounting here as you can see uh, it's also do the accounting as well for that particular uh, radio server okay and then interim update means uh, you define the interval how many uh, uh, how many times how often uh, do you send updates to the radio server 
okay and then NAS means network access system uh, type if you use wireless here it means you can uh, check their own uh, wireless parameters uh, each client you can check each client's uh, wireless parameters or uh, if you don't put uh, wireless here uh, you can put Ethernet and then that's also fine okay so if it, if the NAS is wireless and then you can get more information about the client especially uh, parameters that is related to the wireless right and then here we define the hotspot server okay so it means that we define so previously we defined the hotspot profile okay hotspot profile so this hotspot profile will then be assigned to the hotspot server hotspot server means the interface okay in this case is uh, interface wireland 2 okay WLAN2 as you can see here and then here we define the address pool okay the address pool for that uh, that will be given to the uh, clients and then see here profile okay so profile we define idle timeout uh, keep live timeout login timeout and then address per MAC okay how many address per MAC address so in one MAC address, we can have more than one IP address. Is it possible? Yeah. Okay, and then we want to create a user. Okay, so uh, we have done the hotspot server profile. We have done the hotspot server interface. And after that, we are going to uh, create a user. Before we create a user, we need to define the user profile okay so just the profile it's nothing to do with username password we can do it later on right so here user profile one and then uh, we define the address pool that will be used by the user okay and then we can set up a session timeout idle timeout uh, status auto refresh a shared user as you can see here so uh, some in some uh, implementation you can use the same username and password several times okay so for example you have three devices one laptop one is for uh, your blackberry the other is for your android so three devices using the same username and password is it possible yeah you can do it how you define maximum users you can put here is shared users Okay. Uh, we also can define macro keys address list yes uh, it is possible to add the address list directly to the uh, automatically uh, from the hotspot user so which is very good okay so with address list we know that okay this is uh, this IP address is from uh, is from uh, what is it uh, from uh, from uh, for example uh, low customer like uh, you know uh, usually if you are ISP you have you have a hierarchy of packages you know uh, lower packages is like for example you call bronze and then middle uh, packet is called silver and then gold okay so same thing here okay so how do you distinguish that how this how, how do you define uh, how, how do you distinguish between uh, this customer this gold customer and then this silver customer you can use address list right right so uh, I'm not going to talk uh, in the detail because this is just an overview of uh, Microtech hotspot okay but I uh, just want to talk about the possibility of uh, uh, what uh, hotspot uh, features can do uh, next uh, we still talk about the hotspot user profile about the queue okay so we can define the queue so after the user is authenticated we define uh, the queue okay how 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 fast is the user can get okay we define it here Okay, after that we do advertising yeah okay this one is 
okay it's a nice features so for example we want to show advertisement every one minute okay or every 10 minutes so we can use this one but the thing is <laughs> uh, as long as the user is using the HTTP and then uh, we can force them to see our our uh, our 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 advertising <laughs> yeah okay so next so every uh, one every every 10 minutes they will see an advertisement so it's like uh, I think uh, it's it's the same thing like uh, you know Excel yeah Excel Comindo uh, Excel Axiata so they do the same thing to us okay if you use uh, Excel uh, network and then you are browsing the internet using HTTP only HTTP uh, most likely they will inject the advertisement to your mobile phone okay okay i have a question here michael sitamorang no slideshow today so we are doing slideshow now okay is it over not yet okay jadi ini adalah feature advertisement kita bisa paksa uh, user untuk melihat uh, advertisement kita ya jadi misalkan kita paksa setiap kali setiap setiap ada 10 menit dia nanti akan lihat uh, iklan dari kita dipaksa gitu ya. Oke, okay, next ini script ya. Yeah. Uh, next is a script, so we can put script uh, on login, on logout ya. Yeah. So ya, yeah, that depends on your script. Oke, okay. if you don't, if you put it empty, and then it's also fine. Oke, okay, so we have done the uh, server profile. Okay, server profile. We have defined the server itself. When when I say uh, define server means uh, we define the hotspot interface. Okay, uh, that was done, and then uh, we also define the user profile. Okay, not the user, not yet the user. So the user profile. Okay, now we are creating the real user here. Okay, so here in general tab, uh, you can define server, you can define the username, in this case is student101, and the password is glc12345, you can also define here is the address, okay, MAC address, uh, routers, emails, okay, and then the profile that the user is used, okay, so, uh, Yes, uh, the uh, setting on hotspot user is much more specific than the profile. Okay, if you want to say, if you want this user to use specific IP address, you just define them here. Right, and then we set up limitation. So limit here is not the speed. Okay, so we define the speed on uh, user profile. Okay, on the user profile, you can define the data rate, the speed. Okay, 1 megabit per second, 2 megabit per second. But here on students, on each, each oh, sorry, on, on not student, on each uh, user, you can define based on the quota. Okay, so you can limit uptime. For example, you can maximum online 5 hours. Okay, limit bytes in it means the total download for example one gigabyte limit bytes out means upload so for example maximum upload is 500 megabyte or you can uh, limit the total okay so it means the combination between upload and download and then uh, user statistics okay so there we can check uh, how long you already online uh, check how many bytes you download, how many bytes you upload, okay? And then uh, after you finish create the hotspot, and then you will see that on firewall, there will be rules that is created automatically, okay? You don't have to worry about, you, you, you don't have to worry about these uh, this, uh, rules because it's created automatically. Okay, nothing to do with your current firewall okay 
so your firewall is just fine okay so this firewall it will be created automatically uh, from the uh, hotspot okay so here uh, you can see uh, firewall filter and firewall NAT why firewall NAT is activated because we say that okay we activate the NAT here and then uh, we also need to understand the packet flow uh, especially in this case is on hotspot so hotspot as you can see here is available on hotspot in in pre-routing so pre-routing here if you zoom that in so you can see hotspot in okay and then the other is on post routing uh, that one is uh, hotspot out okay so only two places in microtech firewall where the hotspot is in okay for this pre-routing for hotspot in and then it's on post routing on uh, uh, hotspot out okay okay so uh, that's the end of our uh, webinar today uh, you have any questions okay for next schedule you can just go to our website and then check the uh, check the schedule there uh, um, when will be the next webinar okay, or if there is a training we'll post them there as well any questions ada pertanyaan lagi jadi seperti itulah uh, hotspot ya uh, tidak sebenarnya sih sederhana sekali ya kenapa sederhana karena wizardnya juga sudah ada uh, tapi kalau kita mau otak atik tadi anda saya sudah perlihatkan bahwa uh, ada banyak sekali uh, tuning yang bisa dilakukan uh, hotspot ya dan saya sudah ceritakan juga ada banyak sekali fitur yang bisa kita pakai di uh, hotspot ya akan lebih baik jika anda punya objektif saya mau melakukan hotspot dengan begini 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 uh, nanti uh, ya kita sebagai konsultan kita nanti akan kasih tahu caranya oh caranya bisa begini 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 oke okay, any questions so uh, yeah that's the end of our meeting today oke okay. um, ya yeah, uh, hotspot so the our conclusion is Hotspot has has is is a simple feature, okay. Looks simple, but actually it's not. There are lots of uh, processes that is involved that is uh, yeah um, happening during the uh, simple hotspot, okay. So they have to uh, set up the firewall. Uh, we have to define the hotspot profile. Uh, hotspot uh, uh, interface uh, also uh, set up the profile of the user and then so on and so forth okay anything else ada yang lain jadi hotspot seperti itu ya uh, kita ya ini ini adalah uh, contoh pembuatan hotspot tadi ya kita demokan itu hotspot pembuatan hotspot, uh, hotspot A demo pembuatan hotspot yang uh, apa yang menggunakan wizard ya nah se kalau nggak pakai wizard bagaimana ya kita harus mendefinisikan ini hotspot profilnya dulu kita definisikan ya seperti yang anda lihat di uh, as you can see here ya jadi uh, hot we define the hotspot profile first oke okay in general tab, login tab, radius tab after you finish the uh, set up the hotspot uh, server profile and then create the hotspot server okay blah 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 after you finish hotspot server you set up the hotspot user profile okay you set up the general tab queue advertise script okay once you've done that and then we create the user okay The user itself has uh, um, yeah, um, features for limitations uh, based on the um, 
uh, volume. Okay, I have a question here for bandwidth limitations. Uh, which one do you prefer, simple Q or Q3 for hotspot? So, uh, for hotspot, uh, when we, it's a, um, normally uh, we have, uh, normally we, we use uh, simple Q for hotspot. Okay. So, Michael, what is happening? I don't see the slide presentation slide well um, maybe you have to log out and log in again yeah jadi uh, ini ada apa ada yang tanya saya tidak bisa lihat slide ya uh, ya di sini kami bisa lihat mungkin anda harus log out dan login lagi ya jadi kembali lagi pertanyaan mana yang bagus simple Q atau Q3 ya jadi untuk hotspot user Uh, limit yang anda pakai di sini ya di hotspot profile. Oke okay, sebentar saya carikan di. Jadi kalau kita mendefinisikan speed itu ada di uh, hotspot user profile. Oke okay, di situ ada rate limit ya anda bisa lihat itu. Nah kita define define speednya di sana. Oke. Okay. Okay. Nah itu nanti akan muncul di uh, simple queue. Ya. Yeah. Oke, okay. kalau anda nggak definisikan rate limitnya gimana ya nggak muncul di simple key. Oke, okay. okay, so I was asking, uh, yeah, um, I was talk about the uh, one question here. Um, so uh, what about the uh, bandwidth limitation for hotspot? Oke, okay, so uh, as default, uh, microtik hotspot use uh, uses the uh, simple queue. And then how do you define the rate for each client? Well, you can use rate limit here, okay, on hotspot user profile, and then rate limit. Okay, any questions? If you don't define any rate limits, and then there will be nothing on your queue, a uh, simple queue. So simple queue is uh, is the queue where it is executed first. Okay, if you see. If you see here, uh, if you see on uh, packet flow, okay, simple queue as you can see. Oh, sorry, I mean uh, Q3 will be executed first and then simple queue. Sorry, that's my mistake. So because uh, Q3 is empty, okay. Uh, And then uh, the uh, queue will be will go to a uh, simple queue directly. Okay, di sini ada uh, pertanyaan lagi. Apa yang terjadi? Saya tidak bisa lihat slide-nya. Saya coba dua kali tapi sama saja. Coba coba login pakai uh, apps ya. Any meeting apps di Android itu ada. Silakan coba masukkan saja. Okay, anything else? Jadi kalau bicara hotspot itu sebenarnya simple ya, tetapi kalau kita udah bicara studi kasusnya uh, itu banyak sekali ya. Jadi anda lihat fiturnya banyak, kenapa? Ya karena manusia maunya banyak. Saya mau uh, saya mau tampilin iklan setiap 10 menit dong, bikin fiturnya ya udah. Gitu. Jadi anda bisa bayangkan ya, jadi router OS itu di develop selama bertahun-tahun dan inilah hasilnya. Ya. Nah, kalau misalkan anda punya request kirim aja ke Microtik ya nanti mereka akan pikir-pikir ya. uh, kalau misalkan yang minta banyak ya bisa jadi fiturnya akan dibuat oke okay. ada lagi anything else so uh, I was talking that was the uh, feature of hotspot uh, in hotspot user in router OS Okay, so uh, this feature has already been developed for many years since there was launch uh, in uh, around 2000 something. Okay, I uh, started from Router OS version 3, I think. Yeah. Okay, any questions? Oh, okay, so I have one question. How about the user manager? Okay. <laughs> Very good, very good questions. Yeah, what about user manager? How to uh, define 
how to configure the user manager well it's out of the topic so today we are talking about the hotspot ya hari ini kita bicara hotspot bukan user manager okay, user manager itu adalah sebuah feature lagi uh, dari microtik di mana user manager itu kita bisa naruh username dan password di sana oke okay. oh berarti radius user manager itu sama dengan radius ya betul radius juga jadi uh, ya seperti itulah ya nah cuma user manager uh, dia apa uh, web interface-nya sih kurang responsif jadi banyak orang nggak pakai dia ya uh, di GLC kita punya radius sendiri dan uh, punya fitur yang lebih banyak dibandingkan uh, user manager tapi kita tidak bahas di sini ya jadi user manager itu bisa diakses lewat jadi anda uh, untuk menggunakan user manager ya satu pastikan user manager itu sudah aktif dan uh, anda bisa cek dia uh, dengan tools tool user manager jadi tidak ada tidak ada menunya di winbox ya anda harus akses uh, website ya ya jadi lewat website oke okay, so I was asking Uh, yeah, mm, I was I was saying that uh, in order to respond to the uh, question here about the user manager, actually user manager is out of topic today. So today we'll be we are talking about the hotspot, not the user manager. User manager is another function of rooted uh, OS uh, where it can store username and password. So username is I'm sorry user manager is 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 radius yes it is so it can provide uh, radius functionality uh, so that you can uh, centralize username password in the uh, user manager but uh, as you know microtik is designed for uh, is designed for routing uh, yeah you can add more functionality but it can uh, add more uh, Of, uh, CPU power for the uh, router itself. Yeah. So if if the traffic is low, that's fine. You can use your uh, user manager. But if the traffic is high, if the traffic is low, you can you can put many things. You can activate many things on router OS. But if the traffic is high, I don't recommend that because uh, the CPU of the uh, router will going to uh, be uh, higher. Yeah dan before oke okay, sudah ya uh, tentang user manager seperti itu jadi anda mengakses user manager dari website websitenya siapa websitenya itu router uh, OS kamu oke okay. okay, anything else ya yeah, dan kalau saya sih uh, saya nggak pakai user manager ya karena dia nggak responsif gitu jadi kadang kita harus nambah user ya nah, pas nambah user nggak kelihatan itu usernya kita harus log out dulu login lagi nah baru kelihatan tuh usernya gitu nah, kadang kita harus modifikasi something nah, pas selesai tekan submit save gitu nggak kelihatan itu kok ini masih ada centangannya padahal tadi udah dibuang centangnya nah, log out dulu login lagi nah baru kelihatan ya masih banyak bug seperti itu ya New user manager. Okay, anything else? Any other questions? Any other questions? Okay, any other questions? Well, if not, then then uh, I think it's time to say goodbye. Uh, I would like to say thank you very much for coming. Uh, at least now we have an idea about the how microtik hotspot looks like ya yeah. uh, terima kasih sudah datang ke webinar ini ya yeah. uh, paling tidak anda sudah ya yeah, saya kami berharap anda sudah mengerti seperti apa itu hotspot di microtik ya yeah. jadi uh, hotspot itu adalah penjaga dari uh, ya yeah, feature penjaga supaya orang tidak nyelonong masuk ke network ya yeah. Jadi sebelum dia masuk network, dia nanti akan ditanya dulu username password kamu benar enggak kamu karyawan saya. Kalau kamu karyawan saya pasti kamu tahu username password kamu kan gitu. 
Nah, setelah dia masuk, ya dapat username password. Nah, kemudian nanti dia dikasih autorisasi. Oh, oke, okay, kamu maksimum bisa download sekian banyak, gitu ya, dalam satu hari kamu uh, maksimum dapat rate-nya sekian, ya, data uh, satu Mbps, misalkan speed, gitu ya. Nah, setelah itu kita bisa uh, cek dia di statistik itu kan tadi setiap user ya. Nah, kita bisa cek kamu sudah online 20 sekian lama ya. Kamu sudah download sekian banyak ya. Uh, ini adalah reportnya. Oke, okay, begitu. Ada pertanyaan lagi? Ya, silakan kalau masih ada. Uh, kalau tidak ada, if you don't have any questions, and then uh, yeah, uh, we'll stop this webinar. And uh, thank you very much for your uh, attention. Muted.